Today, let's talk about this case where the person was diagnosed with POTS and we were able to further drill down that diagnosis into a vestibular disorder that we were able to use to be able to figure out what treatments we could apply to help them out. Let's talk about that case. My name is Dr. Nathan Kaiser. I'm a chiropractic neurologist in Chelsea, Michigan, and we help people with neurological problems get better. So that's what we're talking about today. As you know, we talk a ton about people that have autonomic syndromes. They're awful to go through. They're not always a one-size-fits-all type of a deal. So here we're looking at a case where the initial presentation was someone who over a year ago reported starting to feel dizzy, like they were going to pass out, lightheaded, off balance, spent months and months and months going in and out of the ER, going to different physicians, even traveling to a different country looking for answers. They were eventually diagnosed at a cardiologist after wearing a Holter monitor with POTS. So that's ultimately what led them to us. After looking at the case, when they were walking around, they were walking sideways, dizzy to the point of feeling like they were going to pass out and actually had two instances where after eating did actually pass out which is really important and would note that you get blurry vision had a really hard time standing to work really it impacted the health a lot to the point of losing a bunch of weight not being able to exercise not being able to work just feeling tachycardic dizzy all the time when we actually objectively looked at it we did see that on a tilt test this person was hypoperfusing so the amount of blood flow to the brain was dropping so that was very consistent with what the other physician had seen at a deeper level what we found was that this person actually had a vestibulopathy. So the vestibulocular reflex, this is what happens when we turn our head. So we turn our head and if we're looking at something, we can kind of keep our eyes on that target no matter direction we turn our head. In this case, particularly in the right horizontal canal, that vestibulocular reflex was insufficient. When you turn the head, the eyes would not be able to stay on the target and they would actually jerk and have to have these things we call saccadic corrections to be able to correct for the eyes. And this was really important because it helped us drill down on what we could do to be able to solve for that. So we spent our time with working hard to regain that VOR. And what was very cool about that was as it got stronger, we were able to see balance improve. When you look at the gait, rather than kind of veering off to the side, it was straight. Arms are swinging normally again and not like you're on a tightrope. Being able to close your eyes and stand and move your head without falling over. Really, really super positive outcomes we were thrilled for. Even better than that though, is that this person started to feel more alive. Like sense of humor coming back, getting excited about things that were that were yet to come. So it's great to see the life come back into someone like they did in this case. So I think this case is important because it's a case where you do see this POTS, but obviously they were diagnosed, they were given fludrocortisone, salt, compression stoppings, all the things, but just not quite cutting it. It didn't feel better. And it's not to say that that's the way everyone will feel or that no one should ever do that. But the point is, we really had a great opportunity on this case to be able to find a call that you wouldn't typically expect when you go into the cardiologist. They're, they're probably not going to look at that. And that's no fault of theirs. It's just the reality. So being able to dial in on that and being able to actually do neuro rehab, very simple things to be able to resolve that. And it's on my mind because we just got a follow up a month later and, and heard they were doing great and, and hope sharing it with you is useful. So send us a note. Let us know what you think. At the end of the day, I hope it helps. Take care.